Here everybody, um, Sunday day 31, so that's a full month, I'm sure you can work that out for yourself, um, of isolation and lockdown, um, back to it tomorrow for me at least, um, bracing myself for lots of potential absentees to uh, to the end of the furlough, um, probably stating that, you know, um, they're scared and uh, Etc. Etc. I think quite a few probably scared of work. If I'm being honest with you, but uh, <clears throat> and to be fair, I think we're all a bit scared. Um, but we've got to get on with it. We've got to get things moving. So back in tomorrow. Um, this pointless blog has actually um, been good focus for me really um, during these uh, these crazy times. Um, uh, and, and I think it's brought out uh, or rekindled uh, any little bit of creativity that I had left in me uh, in my body so uh, that's been good for that um, I dare say that uh, that'll soon get crushed over the coming weeks with all this craziness uh, quick limerick <clears throat> we stayed in because of this virus we feared but lockdown was incredibly weird trips outside there were few and there was nothing to do except grow an unsociable beard last day for the beard by the way that's going uh, a bit later on tonight um, so what's happened over 31 days? Some very, very quick highlights. Um, I've written 20 odd pointless poems uh, in the hope of uh, raising a smile. Um, we've lost a lot of people to the virus, of course. Um, none more prominent for me and a few others, uh, Norman Hunter. Um, I'm missing footy like mad. Um, Zoom is the new thing, the way forward, as I keep mentioning. Drunk a bit too much. <clears throat> I mean, good though. Uh, the press have just reaffirmed the fact they're just horrendous and negative, um, just repeatedly full of shit. It's just not helpful. Um, I've learnt new terms like social distancing. Um, food shopping is now horrendous. Exp I mean, thought it was bad before, but now it's a horrendous experience. <coughs> um, the virtual world is now the way forward, it would seem. Uh, the NHS has had the prof its profile risen, uh, and rightly so. Um, drinking dental or sperm smoothies are an option to get uh, cured if you want to try either. Wouldn't recommend either. Um, certainly not uh, one of them. Um, and Donald Trump. Another quick uh, limerick. <clears throat> now there's one thing they just haven't said. The isolation can mess with your head. If all you do is stay in, drinking beer, wine and gin, it's odds on that you'll end up quite dead. So, um, so yeah, it's been a new experience for me, this blogging, um, you know, an old stager like me. Um, I have enjoyed it and I hope that uh, I may have everybody smile now and again, even out of pity, if I'm being honest. Um, and it's also this month has shown me that it's had to brought the worst and the best out of a lot of people. Um, you knew who you are. Um, so yeah, tonight, last few beers, um, not too many, work tomorrow of course as I've said, and then D-beard. So, as promised, little NHS um, tribute as my uh, last one. Frontline health workers, now is the time for you to be the subject of my last lockdown rhyme. Quite rightly you've been receiving all the applause for your dedication and commitment to the ongoing cause. But let's look past the Chinese coronavirus leak and celebrate the jobs that you do week after week. You treat us for all different sorts of issues. You're there to supply grieving relatives with tissues, a shoulder to cry on during our real time of need, emergency calls that you never cease to heed. You bring our babies safely and carefully into this world and stay strong when drunken A&E insults are constantly hurled. You operate on all parts of our body, even when our personal upkeep has been rather shoddy. Paramedics are on the scene, quick as a flash, for a sporting injury or a motoring crash. GP doctors can diagnose most of our ills and recommend the right sort of treatment and pills. Surgeons can swap all sorts of body parts with years of dedication 
to master these arts. Porters push patients in chair or in a bed. And A&E nurses put stitches in your head. Physios pull and push, muscles and joints. And by now I think that's, you're getting my points. These heroes are there all year round. Up and down hospital wards, they constantly pound. For 70 odd years, it's been the same story. Illness, disease and wounds, often gory. But done at all times with dignity, humility and class. So not just for Corona, but for everything, I raise this glass. Cheers guys, enjoy the rest of your lockdown. Been a pleasure.